Hello again. My name is Tony West, and I am the quality manager at Central Screw Products. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a micrometer. There are various types of micrometers. You have different sizes. First of all, you have a 0 to 1, 1 inch. You have a 1 to 2 inch. And it goes as high as, as you need, really. This particular one is four to five inches. Then there are different types of micrometers. We have blade micrometers. We have blades instead of flats. We have ball micrometers. This one here, the ball on the end. We also have pin micrometers. They have the small pin on the anvil and the spindle. All of these micrometers will read the same way. So I'm going to show you one and by, by knowing one you'll know all. So we'll use the most generic one which is a 0 to 1 inch flat to flat micrometer. First the features which is the this here is the thimble. You're going to rotate this. By rotating this it moves the spindle which is used to take the measurements. Down here at the bottom is the anvil. This is when it changes from a flat to flat, a ball to flat, blade pins, any other various types of micrometers used based on the type of dimension that is on the part. Example would be a blade micrometer will be used to check very tight spaces where you need something very thin to get in there. Pin micrometers used when you are when there are two radii on either side and you need to get to the lowest point. The the ball micrometer is used when the the diameter is has a kind of a cortex shape where you need to make sure you're reaching the the lowest smallest point on one side but the other side the other diameter is flat for basic diameters a flat to flat micrometer will be just fine so again we have the thimble the spindle the anvil this here is the blocking mechanism when you turn this We have the, the ratchet, which is just used to make sure that the spindle is closed. Underneath the thimble is the main scale. Now to read a micrometer, you need to understand what each of these lines are for. Each of the larger numbers, 3 to 100 thousandths. The smaller dashes read in 25,000 increments, which is one revolution on the thimble, or one complete turn. So for example, this is reading at 100 thousandths. If I go up one, that's 1,000, so it's 100 and 1,000. If I turn it completely, one full turn it is now at 125 thousandths. If I want to turn it one turn complete, it's now at 150 thousandths.
the dashes and numbers on the thimble read in 1,000 increments. So that's why there's 25 units. So when you turn it one complete turn, it's going to show up on the main scale as an extra 25 thousandths. To read in 10 thousandths, on the back of the main scale, there are numbers at the bottom with long lines going up. And in order to read that, you have to match it up with one of the dashes on the thimble. So now, first thing I want to do is hold it correctly by placing my ring finger inside here, balance it with my middle finger, and turn the thimble with my thumb and index finger, like so. So I want to zero it out, make sure it's on zero. Now I'm ready to take a measurement. Open it up until you get larger than this diameter of the part. Okay. Place the part between the spindle and the anvil. Slowly turn it, tighten it up. You want to make sure that it's on, it's evenly distributed on both sides of the diameter. Okay. Now to read this, again these large numbers are in 100 thousandths. So the largest number we see is 6, so that's 600,000. You're going to have to do some math here. Small dashes are in 25,000 increments, so 625, 650, 675, and now you have to add the thousands. 675 thousands plus 11 thousands, so 686 thousands. And now you want to read in your tenth spot because if you look, this line here is between the 11 and 12. So in order to read that, you lock it in place, to make sure it doesn't move on you, turn it around, and you want to line up, you want to look at each one of these lines and find out which one lines up with the dashes exactly, lines up perfectly. Start with the, the zero, work the way around, looks like it is this one here. Come down, and that's three, so it's three tenths. So this part, this diameter measures 686 thousandths and three tenths. And if you write that down, it would be 0.6863. Take it out, make sure you unlock it. That is how you use a micrometer.